Welcome to More Gaming. I'm your host, Joseph Moore, here, and I am bringing you another live of Pokemon Conquest. If you're on Facebook, thank you for joining me. And if you're on YouTube uh, and you want to be on Facebook, click the link in the description down below. Again, I will start Twitch streaming s starting uh, next week. Or if you're watching on YouTube, uh, as the video is airing, go ahead and check out my U my Twitch channel. The uh, link should be in the description down below as well. And yeah, sit back, relax, leave a like, subscribe, follow if you're on Facebook. And if you're not on Facebook, come follow anyway so you can start catching all the streams. Alright guys, let's go ahead and continue on with our uh, journey of Kiji's army. We gotta go ahead and get get some more members in our armies. Because uh, we need it. We desperately need it right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just tackle this with these two people. And away we go. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and kind of sit back and relax a little bit right here. And let them come to us. And then we'll start attacking. But good morning, good morning everybody. How is your day going? If you're working and using me as a podcast, thank you for joining. And if you're joining us and just sitting here to watch, uh, as well, thank you for coming. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get some attack on the timber here. And we can actually take out the timber now. Uh, Chimchar is going to kind of bait in the pan pour though, so, oh no, that did not do any damage. Well, Pampor is going to be there to take a hit. Oh, and Chimchar is down and out. So kind of a waste bringing Chimchar with me. Alright, he's going to go for the low kick. And I'm sure Machop is going to go ahead and try to attack us as well. All super effective attacks as well. So we got to keep in mind we can't take too many of those. But we will take out the Machop here. Ooh, with the critical hit, of course, that's a knockout. Panpour is going to give us a ranged attack. Ooh, 32 damage. Oh, and Timber goes for the low kick and misses, so that's good for us. Now we can go ahead and knock out the Panpour. Because that's the real threat and the real Pokemon we're trying to get into our army anyway. All right, so we get a scented orb, and then now we get to hit the timber next. And of course it hits this time. But let's go ahead and knock this thing out here. And now we can add a pan port to our army. Oh, well, we had a Magikarp to our army, but we're going to make him use the pan pour. But let's go ahead and recruit him because we do need more people in our army. Uh, gain some gold. All right, that's not bad, 500. Now let's see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and switch this Pokemon from Magikarp to Panpour so he's of use to us. Um, we're going to go ahead and try to get uh, Hanby in here. And I'm not going to focus on getting the other warriors their perfect link. I'm only going to focus on getting uh, uh, gold warriors their link. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this present over here. We'll stay here and bring you back around this way. Can't really hit that dust clops. And I don't know if y'all can hear the lawnmower outside, but sorry if y'all can. 
Nothing I can do about that. Okay, now we can hit the dust skull because it's in range. Man, that's not going to do nothing. So let's see here. I mean, that'll, that'll do a little bit. And the good thing is uh, that flying type Pokemon doesn't have a, a flying type move, so Snivy should be safe. Oh, that sucks though. So let me do this. Get some big damage off on the Starly. Oh, critical hit, we take it out. One less Pokemon to worry about. And we're gonna go ahead and bring the, this over to knock out that Charmander. Make it a little bit easier. Ooh, critical hit, but good thing we did not get flinched. All right, so Iggly Buff is just gonna be smacking us around. That's cool. Let's go ahead and knock out the Charmander here. Wonderful. All right, we're gonna get some damage off on this thing. Much needed, of course. And we're gonna go ahead and rally up should have probably did this first. Alright, we get 9 damage off. A crit would be nice. Nope, no crit. Alright, so Iggly Buff is coming up. And of course, Rhyhorn is going to be able to take that out this turn, most likely. Oh, and the Astonish missed. Lucky for us. Alright, let's see how much damage this does. All right, let's go ahead and activate Mighty Blow. All right, still not quite enough, but it does damage. Oh, the melee is going to come off. That that works. And hopefully this knocks this thing out, and it does. Wonderful. So down goes that guy. So we're going to get him added to our party for sure. And potentially, yep, we're going to knock this thing out. We got in range. Okay, so we get Canby, which doesn't have his Litwick that I paired with him. So that's interesting. And then we have Chikayasu. So let's go ahead and add them to the party. I could have swore I had him with the... Oh, no. That must be from another thing. Okay. Well, that's fine. At least he's paired with Duskull. We can get him linked up. And then here, we are going to... Oh, yeah. There's Pan Sages around here. I know I said I wasn't going to try to uh, link Warriors too much. But uh, Pan Sages are very rare. So if I can get one of those linked up, that'd be great. Okay, so from what it looks like, we don't have the Pan Sage guy, so oh well. But let's just go ahead and get some gold here. <clears throat> oh no, he broke the toll again. That dude sucks. I'm never gonna do that again. Just I'm gonna just take what I can get. Alright, now let's go ahead and add these guys over here. Cause uh <clears throat> Blitzel's gonna help us at the at that one castle. Alright, so we're going to move over here to try to knock that thing out.
All right, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna bait the the Blitzo to come attack Zubat. All right, so the Blitzo falls for it. And that Zubat's over there. All right, all we gotta do is hit it. Beautiful. And we hit it. Now, how much damage does Zubat do to this thing? Ooh, almost just enough. Let's see if we can't get the crit. No, no. But we got a little bit of a higher roll. Now, let's go ahead and attack this Zubat over here. Ooh, critical hit. Beautiful. We didn't get the crit on the other one we needed, but we got it on that. Ooh, and we get poisoned. Well, all right. We can't use Rock Wrecker again, so that's something we can't do. Let's go ahead and attack this thing. Knock it out. Oh, uh, we would have got a crit there. But I guess Battle Armor would have prevented the crit earlier. Dang, but that was a really high roll. Now let's go ahead and go for the mighty blow and see if we can't get some really good damage off on the Zubat. Oh, I guess not. We had to come around. Got to bring it around town. Go ahead and get some good damage off on that Zubat there. And of course, we can't get the use the rock wrecker, but we're poisoned anyway, so might as well just jump into the pool. All right, so Zubat comes to try and attack us. No way we're going to get in range. So let's just go ahead and get some boosted attack. How much damage does this do? Ooh, it does exactly 23. I wanted to get the kill with Charmander, but we'll see. Low roll. The only time you're ever going to see me ask for a low roll, and I get a high roll. Oh, well. Nene needs it. Nene needs it too, so. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and add these two guys to our party here. Not yet. Let's see what else we got. Okay, that's nothing. So we're just going to go ahead and get gold there. Give it a try. No, leave me alone. You suck. <clears throat> so slowly but surely, we're building up our gold again. All right. Now we could uh, advance to the next month. Uh oh, we got challenged. But we can accept this. I'm kind of really okay with this because I want Girder to evolve. All right, let's see what he's trying to do here. He's sending everyone to the middle. Let's go ahead and send Girder to the left. And these guys to the right. All right, Joe's army's turn. All right, perfect. Eevee's going for that banner. And Girder's going to get two kills. All right, so he's just going to go straight for the banner over there. We're going to cover this banner. We'll leave Tepig there since it's the weaker one. Or it has the less HP of the two at least. 
All right, Audino's still trucking over here. Scrafty's sitting at his banner. The good thing about the battle is that you never know what will happen. We must simply fight the best we know and see what happens. I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna smack the shit out of this Eevee. For some reason, we still don't get the kill on it, but at least we're knocking it down. And if we can, we're gonna try to get a, I think 60% link with the warrior. So he can evolve. Yeah, he needs a 60% link with Girder or Conkelder. So let's go ahead and do that. Eevee is still there. I don't know takes its place. That's gonna be annoying because it can heal. So hopefully the mighty blow will do enough damage to knock it out. But Eevee comes around, gets another hit off on Girder. Scraggy's just sitting there. And I'm not too worried about knocking these people out in a certain time because we're not gonna be able to recruit them anyway. So we get the Eevee out of the way, which is good. All right, Munchlax is going to start beating up on the Scraggy here. Oh, and Tepic falls into a trap. It's a trap! All right, so Audino is going to go ahead and give us a smack. Scraggy stays sitting. All right, now we're going to give the Mighty Blow. Let's see if this gives us enough, uh, enough attack power. Oh, beautiful. It does. Smack that along the floor. Smack that. Give me some more. Oh, my God. We both fell into a trap. That's stupid. Okay, so Scraggy's just going to get some free hits off on Munchlax, which is annoying. All right, so we got to claim the banner here. Come around. If anything, block the Scraggy, because we, we don't want him to go get the other banner. But it's not choosing to do that. It's just going to get free hits off on this thing. All right, going to collect the gold while I can. Oh, damn it. Just antidote. I hate that. I mean, we could sell those items, but it's not the same as just getting the free gold. All right, Tepe, get the burn. Nope, no burn. It's okay. I'm going to get that last treasure box and then send Girder through the grass patch. Man, that thing hits hard. <clears throat> oh, let's do that. Weak spot lanes increases damage done by super effective attacks. Can't get the burn here. Nope. Tepic just doesn't like to burn nothing. He doesn't realize what fire is supposed to do. He's just getting that EX HP back. Alright, so now we can transport way close to that Scraggy. Give it some decent damage. No abilities to help us there, but Girder should knock this thing out next turn. Alright, he's going to get that final hit off on Munchlax. Almost kills. <clears throat> oh yeah, this, this does major damage. Boom! Down goes Scraggy. 
And we are victorious because we knocked out all of his Pokemon. Wonderful. Very wonderful. Hey, welcome to the stream. Alright, the battle has been won. We're going to go ahead and save. We just defended our castle in Greenleaf here. So, so far so good. And we added a few more members to our army. Let's see if we can keep that up. Oh, great. Now we get a, a fight in Viperia, which I don't want, but we can handle. Accept the challenge. Luckily, we have a poison type for... Oh, what was that? I don't know who that is. I'm not going to answer. But let's go ahead and take on this thing. As I was saying, I'm glad I have a poison type for the Carnivine because if we didn't, it'd smack up our team very nicely. So he's got two floaters and a Pokemon that can stand on the floor. Okay, let's go ahead and send Rog and Roller this way. Put Onyx here. And we got a Pokemon that can stand on poison, which is awesome. Magiochi. Magi Magoichi. There we go. I keep saying his name wrong. I don't know why he's avoiding the poison. He's... He's a flying type. He won't get affected by it. But let's go ahead and come this way here. And let's go sneak up on that rufflet. Let's see if we can't get a quick kill off on it. Oh, no. He, he ran away. Okay, let's see what we got going here. We got a sand and the poison, but let's go ahead and get these kills. I'm more worried about the rufflet. So let's go ahead and get the kill on that. Sweet. Down goes rufflet. Um, has brotherhood, but no point in that right now. So we go ahead and get the move around there. Onyx is going to try to go get that last banner. And then this should be an easy kill for Rog and Rolla. Oh, first hit should kill. Let's do it. Oh, and you miss. Well, I'm going to leave that to you. I'm going to go ahead and increase my defense. And you know what? Let's go ahead and... Nah, let's not. Let's go ahead and try to go kill this Carnivine. And of course, Honest is just like, What's going on, man? Where'd everyone go? I'm all alone. Alright, so Carnivine's not trying to move anywhere. Alright, let's do the Rock Blast. Not miss this time. Oh dear, no mercy on the elderly. Nope, you're dead. One second, guys. Now let's go ahead and get this uh, knockout on Krogunk here. Well, with Krogunk. So it looks like to be a two-hit KO. And I guess we don't really got to worry about collecting banners anymore. So let's just go ahead and bring Onyx back over here. And let's go ahead and collect these treasure boxes. Ooh, 
It's gonna attack the crow gunk, but I don't think that's gonna be very good for it. And it wasn't. So let's go ahead, collect these boxes here. So due to that health boost, it's a three hit KO, which isn't too bad. We could handle it. But yeah, that's still in range, so we'll be good there. Collect that lax box. Hopefully it has gold. It does, finally. We did not claim one banner here, but we did get all the kills. So, good enough. All right, retreat is an important is as important a battle strategy as any other. Yeah, don't come back here again, wasting my damn time. But do come back so we can get some boost with Rock and Roller. How does Rock and Roller evolve anyway? I'm about to look that up. I have the tabs open, so it's not like it's gonna take me a crazy amount of time. I just gotta find his name. Rock and roller. Okay, it needs to have 59 defense. And then to evolve into Gigalith, it needs 60% and get a final blow on a warrior before. Uh, the final blow kill on a warrior in battle. Alright, so everyone's attacking each other because they just attacked me. Of course. That's two attacks on Green Leaf at once. That's annoying. But it looks like Girder's gonna get his uh his link up. Alright. So, Ginchio's army is going to attack. We need to get rid of her soon. Alright, Moonshade goes over there. Ginchio's, they're attacking all the... They're attacking the other side. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring a girder this way. Munchlax going to go around. And uh, I'm going to send Munchlax with some help. I'm going to have to stall this one out too because the Moga is pretty powerful. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and let the Moga take that one actually. All right, send Munchlax this way. Send Girder over the bridge and let Tepe go underneath. Oh, shoot. I'm actually going to lose. Because as soon as they claim the banners, it's over. I misplayed horribly. <laughs> wow. What am I doing? Apparently losing. All right, Zach, we'll do your worst. Critical hit. All right, so we have a chance. Not really. That's annoying. Okay, well, we lost. But it's okay. Just gives us more link in, in, the, later, in the later game. I just hope it doesn't cost us to lose another warrior like it did the last time. Alright, so smart play. Oh, we actually boosted. That's cool. Alright, so everyone's going to go...
Let's send you here. Send the other two over here. All right. So now our 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 our, our um our army is a little more comfortable. All right. Who's here? Ooh, the spirit tomb guy. That that could be useful. All right. Send these three to kill it. Come over here, you break the rock. You come this way. And you go attack the spirit tomb. Bless you. Alright, we get chip damage off on that spirit tomb there. Of course, interference is gonna drop our accuracy. A little bit annoying. Poison sting comes off, but now we're in the prime position to uh, hit the spirit tomb. Let's go ahead and get some damage off on the spirit tomb again. This should knock it out. Oh, it doesn't. I should have rallied. Oh, but it only has four damage. Melee does three, and that means we can get the kill with Charmander, which is even better actually oh we can't it's out of range that sucks okay well let's just go ahead and move uh, Charmander here running more interference but he missed he has interference and he missed himself how hilarious. Alright, so we want to get that kill with Charmander. So let's go ahead and kill this Ekans here. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and try to get some gold. Oh, Fragment. Okay. So I'm going to have to sell some stuff in that. In the ground kingdom but now we can get the kill with Charmander hopefully you don't miss don't need to use that beautiful Charmander gets the kill down goes spirit tomb and I know he needs a haunter so we need to pair him with the Ghastly as soon as possible. And we're recruiting him for sure. Let's go ahead and put you here. Yeah, we don't need a Charmander guy. All right, let's, uh, let's get these two guys to mine for gold. Not bad, 600. All right. And we're moving on. 